My best play memories from my childhood is um, playing outside with my friends from the neighborhood, hopscotch, a um, bit of elastic, playing elastic. One of my other memories were um, playing gutter board, so how we would set that up was finding a plank of wood and um, leaning it up against the fence and finding a tennis ball and then we'll play gutter board against again the rest of the neighbourhood um, and we'll have a neighbourhood champion so it was one of these activities that didn't require a lot of money but we had a lot of fun with and killed a lot of hours obviously as kids we do become bored from time to time but we never ever got bored ourselves because there were so many things to do and if we weren't playing we were doing chores so Everything we did didn't involve money and that was only because um, we were quite poor growing up so obviously you had to find your own fun and if that meant climbing a tree, if that meant playing tuggy, hide and go seek, we, there was plenty of things to do and it was just about using your imagination. Um, nowadays I guess people are just very quick to grab the device or buy something to entertain the kids. I'm guilty of that myself um, but it's you know back in the day that wasn't the case and it was just resources we didn't have any. It's super important to have play within our family and that's um, one way to keep our family active. Um, it definitely uh, helps with family time because we have to schedule it in and make time for each other but we have to also use our imaginations as parents to keep our kids entertained um, for as long as possible. We have a two and a four year old now so for us it's building forts in the lounge, making little obstacle courses, running up and down the driveway and it could be as simple things as playing hide and seek so they know how to play all these games it's just a matter of um, all they want is mum and dad to join in and give them that time. You can't just send Sometimes we just can't send kids away and expect them to entertain themselves and that's good from time to time but for our young ones we actually, they actually want us to participate so we make a big effort to do that. So dad has his time throughout the day while he's working um, here in lockdown and I do um, the other part of it. So I'm with the kids pretty much 24 seven and we make time to, to make that play happen for them. Probably one of my biggest tips or one of my top tips I should say is uh, make time and schedule it in. I, I know that our lives get very, very busy. Um, I'm in the same boat, but for me, it's about making that time, schedule it into the routine, you know, and, and just make yourself present and, present and be present. Turn your phone off or just put it on silent or just put it to the side and just be there because that's all they want is for mum and dad to be around. And here comes one. <laughs> Another tip is actually you don't have to spend money to, you know, um, make playtime fun for them. There's lots of great parks around, lots of reserves. Tiggy, you know, it will help mum and dad stay active as well. You know, I, I'm sure from time to time it does get tiring for mum and dad to, to give some time, but it will help you stay active. So if anything, it will benefit the whole family. Um, but just walk out the door. Just put some shoes on and walk out the door and go for a walk together. That's all they want. It might take you an hour to walk around the block, but that's an hour well spent with your kids.